Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, like fire. A terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Welcome to The Advocate. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. It's necessary to reiterate that so that you know what you're letting yourself in for. That way, you won't be disappointed. On today's edition, I'll be kicking off after the opening whistle by challenging what I say is the unfair advantage of transgender men participating in female sports. Rukewe, or Rookie, as she, she likes to be known, is landing with an unapologetic bang. She'll be throwing a hard punch by taking on primary health care. Ekene has turned youth counsellor. She is saying it's okay to wait. Wait for what? Wait and find out. Liberus continues to spotlight the hate speech agenda. He says it's, it's hatred when you make campaign promises and fail to fulfill them. That's pretty down to earth. Bolahan goes spiritual on us. In fact, he is advocating that the anti-corruption war be extended to the spirit world and target the ghost workers. Like I said, think no holds barred and you're in for a treat. After the break, keep it locked. Inherent in the activity known as sports is the understanding that the athletes will be competing on a level playing field. One can't miss the various stories making the rounds on social media of males who now identify as females who go on to compete against biological females and win easily. Things have gotten to the point that a high school girl in America recently filed a federal complaint for having to race boys who identify as girls. As a former athlete, I completely object to these happenings. Just because someone chooses to identify as the opposite gender does not make them that gender. I know in today's world, this may be an unpopular view, but it is what it is. In sports, care is taken to eliminate any unfair advantage. That is the reason the use of performance enhancing drugs are prohibited. So having men compete against women, as is in these cases, constitutes an unfair advantage, don't you think? It is interesting that women who identify as men don't compete against biological males. Why? Because they're automatically at a disadvantage due to their physical and biological makeup. Just imagine if this were a boxing match or a wrestling match. Imagine no further. This actually happened at a mixed martial arts match. A man identifying as a female got in the ring with a biological female and left her with a cracked skull. It seems to me women's sports is under attack. We have now become a society which has taken political correctness to an extreme. Rather than treat transgenderism as the disorder that it is, we're seeking to embrace, validate, and legitimize it to the detriment of real women like you and me. Well, it should not be allowed in sports, as not only can it be life-threatening, as we have heard already, it makes a mockery of the results and the time and effort these women have invested only to be beaten by a man who says he is a woman. The only real way to ensure competitive fairness in women's sports is to keep men out. Yes, oh, wow. the only way to make something a women affair is to make it a women affair. Thank you. The only way to make something a man affair is to make it a man affair. Mm. And, and, and so for somebody who simply says, I identify as a woman, he, that does not make that person a woman. Mm -hmm. And like somebody says, Boy Scout is Boy Scout. Guest guide is guest guide. And, and so when you now say because, why is it that we're talking about because you feel you are, you are trapped in a man's body and so I should assume you're a man. Mm. Why don't you feel 
as a young boy, why don't you feel trapped in an old man's body? And so I should assume that you're old, an old man. You, you know, so this has to stop, really. And like you said, it creates an unnecessary advantage. Mm -hmm. There's a reason for allowing women to compete amongst women. It's just like Lionel Messi saying, oh, I'm a man. Oh, I'm a woman, mm. and then you allow him to, to play the in the female, female league. Female. Gosh, <laughs> yeah. But there's a real issue about intersex, where uh, there's a there's a genuine mix up between male and female. Yes, which I biologically. Yeah. Yes, and so, yes, understood. Um, the woman has to choose, or mm. the man has to choose. So, like Samaya, she can say, like "I want a, to run as a woman yeah. or as a man," mm -hmm. because she's got more testosterone, mm -hmm. obviously, because she's not fully developed as a woman. Mm -hmm. So that's the real issue. Yes, and they, I think they were banning her recently. Mm -hmm. Or oh, they told of, her she had to take. Yes, yeah, so uh, to now either go her. down to um, the male category mm -hmm. or take drugs to repress to re her testosterone, yes, her testosterone yes. because she has the power of a woman. Mm -hmm. why, does, why does a man run faster than a woman? Because of their muscle mass mm -hmm. and their testosterone. Yes, yes. So it's a totally different makeup. Yes. And because of that, it's not fair to allow these categories to mix at all yes. because we're biologically very I different. Mean, I, for me, the interesting point um, is, you know, I, I think there was a point you made that which I understood. About the, you know, that if, why don't the women, women don't. Yeah, yeah. So you can see that there's, to some extent, some scheming going mm. on. You know, it's one thing to want to identify as a man. It's within your, you're within your rights as society permits. So I don't really want to go saying, calling it disorder, mm. even though from my perspective, that's what I see it as. But you <laughs> no, I'm just trying to say you have to respect the individuals. But where it now crosses the line, is where society then allows other people to be disadvantaged. Yeah, they start because of what you call, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. for example, I know a case, and this is where I, I believe it lands with the courts. In the UK, there was a woman who wanted to identify as a man. Mm. Um, so she did all the, the, the oh. surgery and she looks like a man, but she then got pregnant, mm. had a baby, and then went to the courts to mm. register her as the dad. <laughs> and they so you're not a dad, you're a woman. Yeah. Biologically, you're the mother. So you they refused. So that ruling was made complete sense. So where I want to bring it home is because we don't have those challenges in Nigeria, the, the only like comparison I can find is, you know, this whole political correctness where you're, you're something that makes sense to you ordinarily on a one-on-one. -on -one, mm. You will now, because you're in a group setting, you want to pay lip service. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to say what is... To, you mm -hmm. know. Or so maybe, something that doesn't make sense to you. <laughs> yeah, because you want to be accepted by the group. To your point. You know? I, I, I think there's a bigger... The, the sport, what we see in sport, mm -hmm. sport is just a microcosm of the larger society. Yeah. So once the larger society start dealing with this matter at the level of recognizing male as female, female as male, transgender, transvestite, all those levels, it is bound to start playing out in several other segments mm -hmm. of the society. Mm -hmm. And that is what we're feeling in the mm -hmm. sport. I want to vote so. the point, um, just what she said and mm -hmm. what you're saying. Actually, there was a case where they put a woman out of business because this man wanted to be waxed <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a woman. And she says, no, I, the genitalia is, is not the same. Mm -hmm. I don't do female wax and uh, mm -hmm. men waxes. There's a shop next door who does for men. But she said, no, I'm a female. <laughs> and, and he took her to court. Yeah. And the ruling was in the favor of this of transgender. The... And she went out of business because she didn't have money she... to fight them in court. Oh, well, wow. it was really unfair. She only learned how to wax women. It's Our a totally different thing to wax complex. testicles than, you know, yeah, the female part. Yeah. And so it's, it's a real problem no, it's more a than the sport. Yeah, but, but what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. That's it, it, does, it does. 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 Um, you don't have to wait until we have enough problems mm. already. <laughs> <laughs> if you now wait until this confronts us, there <laughs> will be a real I mind, you, I mind all, you here, it's we hidden. don't advocate for only Nigeria, we mm. advocate for a better society. No, I understand. You have viewers all over the yes, world. Yes, I and get so, you. But for the fact that it doesn't affect us here now, <laughs> the what do you call it? Um, the transgender thing does not I mean, affect us, but it took our legislators to say, you know what, let's quickly deal with this. Mm. But do we have transgender? Uh, yeah, we do. We do. Let, me, uh, let me even give you an example. Because uh, uh, I know it's not. We cannot be mentioning no, no, no. it. No, no, no. Recently, 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 you have gone on this, your popular, toilet. what do you call it? No, yeah. me, and who went to ShopRite? and insisted that... He will use the female he, toilet. Yes, he will use but the female yes. okay. yeah. And they told him, get out. You okay. cannot yeah, you use can. the female toilet. Yes. Yeah. So it's getting more complex. We, we, we yeah. cannot we begin to look at this it. as if it's something far away. No, it's, it's not. Because it's right here to, with I, us. The reason why I was saying the popular views, because I'm trying to say, okay, the average person who is not dealing with the transgender problem will still have that dichotomy where something that makes total sense, let's just even say um, pensions, mm -hmm. and you're, you're in a, a, a group of a House of Senate and you're a senator, and you know that this is wrong. But instead, because you don't want to be the odd one out, you, you 
You stay alone. You decide to align. That's where the world is going. The reason I had to bring it up because sports will it will get to us quicker through sports than any yeah than anything because we're going to be watching and seeing these things. If I know I can't compete favorably with my mates, you can just claim I'm a woman and then I go. There's a lot of it is going on now. No, no, women, women's races, women's wrestling, women's everything, men. You know, I mean, who claim to be? You just, you just, I. Sign yourself a gender and then yeah. you get yeah, on with it exactly. just to win. Because it works for you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We're all about freedom of speech on The Advocate. Rookie speaks out on a matter she is passionate about and seeks to share the passion with us after the break. Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, Everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this and that. It's really? disastrous for a president to, even say to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a very, like fire. very <laughs> terrible strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. You're watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. We need to first give ourselves permission to speak truth to power before we even raise issues with our outside constraints, I'll be gladly leading by example. The ABC of healthcare, primary healthcare, that's what we're talking about today, it refers to the essentials of healthcare that is based on scientifically sound and socially acceptable methods and technology. This makes universal healthcare accessible to all individuals and families in our communities. It promotes health and wellness. It's more about delivering healthcare services and it's about creating conditions that will help people to become and stay healthy and well. It's all about extending the reach of healthcare to providers in our communities. So who are those providers? Now we, we talk about people who commonly treat medical problems. This person could be a doctor, a primary healthcare provider could be a physician assistant or a nurse practitioner, even a CHU. A CHU is a community healthcare extension worker. These are non-doctors or medically trained people that are trained to help in the primary health centers. Now, the PHC is not a jamboree at all. There are many real measurable outcomes, especially in the prevention of both communicable and non-communicable diseases, which we call NCDs. It's apparent that there isn't enough knowledge about the purpose of primary health care. And this is leading to abuse of the service and actually not enough use of the service. Where preventative measures could have been put in place, there's neglect leading to a more chronic situation down the line. As the saying goes, a stitch in time what saves nine. Today, my advocacy is therefore about the population, how they need to be informed, educated, and know the value of primary health care. On the other hand, the patients also need to be curious about the providers of their healthcare services. So we need to ask our doctors more questions about our treatment. Overall, for us to become a healthier people, we need to become more engaged with the systems already in place, starting with the primary healthcare systems in Nigeria. I agree yeah. with what you said, largely because um, a lot of times when we look at solutions, people are concerned about money, and they always argue that we don't have enough money. But you know, primary healthcare, from what I understand, and you can correct me, is more about, a lot of it has to do with prevention. And it's things you can do that won't cost too much more. You know, so telling you how to you know, live healthier lives and avoid maybe down the line high blood pressure or things that will cost you more in terms of costs. So I, I, I feel that a lot of it has to do with information and, and having a more informed populace. You know? And the bit I also like is um, you know, a lot of times we treat doctors here as though they're gods. And you know, someone will give you a medication and you don't know what it is in a clear. And you, know, you find, why do patients not ask? You don't even know the name of the mm. medication. You don't even know what they're treating a lot yeah. of the time. So if you don't ask those questions of your doctors, and doctors, the same way we talk about politicians, doctors need to be held accountable. We're not a very, the society it doesn't feel very comfortable with holding people accountable, even when it has to do with your life. So that's you, something you know, I want to second. Um, another thing is that um, actually uh, primary health care here is, um, 
not something that is well known. Maybe because of um, the history. We started with dispensary. Uh, and then okay. like we, pharmacies? we started with dispensaries mm -hmm. where you have a dispenser who takes drugs to the village to dispense for you know sick ones and then from there we had general hospitals mm -hmm. you know at the local government headquarters and then you know but they needed to be you know a stop a gap to create you know like um, a handshake. um you, you need to create centers where you know you'll be able to treat or attend to the immediate needs, primarily, if, if you allow me to use that everyday <laughs> word, just like primary school, the very basic foundation. Yes. Yeah. And then before you begin to talk about even secondary, the secondary general hospitals and the rest. Mm. And, and so, with the introduction of primary health care, one would have expected that, you know, you have, it is where, like you have said, you, it's a, a place where you educate people on the health hazards, what they need to know. Mm, family planning. The day-to-day -day people. Mm. But unfortunately, the kind of head, primary health cares that we have, these are places where in some places there are no medical personnel, where they are valuable, they are not paid, and even if they are paid, it doesn't come on time. And so you still find some of these same persons now creating uh, private hospitals within side by primary. side <laughs> within the primary oh health boy. <laughs> And, and, and yes. because we also do not value lives here, there are no records of the challenges at that level. And so that if you have a record of all the challenges, you now know which area to address. <laughs> no, that's true. If it is in Anegbete, for example, it's okay, what is the prevalent... That's where you're from. You know? I, I think the records might be there, but not where we expect them to be. Exactly. Yeah. One of the problems <laughs> what do you mean by with, that? with the yeah. centre yeah. is mm. that it is not particularly functional here. Mm. So someone who has malaria shows up in Luth for care. What, what has a tertiary education, uh, uh, healthcare okay. institution got to do with, got malaria. To do with malaria? malaria. The, the okay. problem okay. with that is you overboarding the next layers yes. of healthcare. The same so because the functional one, the work. one, the basic one, mm. as opposed to attend to your need, is not working. Mm. The Health Act of the federal government of Nigeria was meant to help to address some of these issues. There was a huge focus on primary health care in that act. The act was meant to set aside 1% of the federal government's revenue in the consolidated revenue account for this particular purpose. And that act was passed, I think, in the last year of Jonathan. Up till now, one begins to doubt, because I still ask a couple of people about the some primary health care center that I knew. Are they the working thing. now? The problem is mm. you don't take a primary solution and give to a federal government to provide. <laughs> you it has to be local. You're, you're trying you, to change government now. Mm. No, you no, need no, yeah, to. He's making you, a for, point. For you to access... People who are closer to the people. Everyday the people. local government. Mm. You need the local government mm. to I provide. The government used to administer um, those dispensers. Yeah, but there. when you now say you create an act by the federal government, that the federal government will disburse the money, and then before it gets down, to the local, you know, everybody had taken out theirs. Yes. And so what is left is left is next to nothing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you need to actually allow the primary head care, yeah. the local government, to run the primary head care. And then you can supervise from the state ministries and the federal ministry. That's yeah. the so that's what the place is. My, the my biggest thing about this part, because it's about prevent, preventative measures, largely, really, more yeah. than largely, mm -hmm. right? And the busy. Yeah. Care. So I really think it's more about awareness. We need to create awareness um, because lots of people, like Ekene mentioned, they don't even ask questions from their doctors. Uh, I, we, you know, the, I had a cook that he would go to the doctor, just come back with drugs. They'll even give him sachets of, of medicine. He doesn't know what they are, so he'll give them to me. I have to do all the Google, the work, and say, it's for high blood pressure, this is for this. Now, also, it's important uh, for families as well, because when I think about what I do know, what I, because of my passion for medicines and you know healthcare and stuff like that i'm so grateful for the knowledge that i have because you know children are often sick and you're usually the first person that they come to so you kind of need to have that knowledge to, to, to have confidence <laughs> and to handle the situation and um also i have to say the attitude that um the so-called healthcare personnel, personnel put out there is enough the to put people off i mean even 
pregnant women about to deliver will testify that the nurses Stop calling me. Are I was in very evil. Yeah, yeah, very evil yeah. towards yeah. them. So, so yeah. why would anybody yeah. want to go and talk very to them? Thing. Exactly. Well, the truth so, is, overall, there are three levels of healthcare. Mm. There's the primary, the secondary, so and the tertiary. tertiary. Mm. And actually, in most developed countries, you can't even walk to a hospital. You will not get seen. Yeah, you yeah. go to You'll the be GP. You sent home. Mm -hmm. You need to go to your GP. Mm -hmm. That's Which in England. That's in yes. Canada. Yeah. Because yeah. you know that's their job, mm -hmm. and they need they need to treat your everyday thing. So we need to make that work in this country. Yeah. A lot of twenty five year olds. Your GP is a supposed to Twenty five year olds are wa walking about with blood pressures of one eighty over yeah, hundred, yeah, yeah. That's and so they will true. be dead by forty years old. Oh they don't realize that they even have hypertension. Mm -hmm. They just have a headache. They go and buy paracetamol. Mm -hmm. More paracetamol. They start having kidney problems. It's self medication is a big problem in this yes, country. So, so the primary health centers cycle. have a significant role to play. And it's, it's not only work. by government. There's non-governmental yeah, yeah, yeah. play in this. NGOs. Yeah. And in fact, I have a, a colleague who's setting up in Ebutemeta, actually, a primary health center. And she's really trying her best to bring, you know, knowledge, knowledge which is power. You yeah. need to know. Start so awareness. In, in, in summary, I'm going to say that um, this was very, very empowering. Um, after the break, Ekene is going to talk about uh, empowering us by giving us permission to abstain from a certain popular pastime. Hmm, Ekene, what are you going to tell us? Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, Everything is that wrong. Is, you yeah. can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a terrible, terrible. Like fire. <laughs> terrible strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. The pressure to conform is more oppressive than we realize. I'm going to be saying today, it's okay to wait. The way societies are wired at the moment, and Nigeria has never been one to carry last, it would appear that sex makes the world go round. According to an article titled Psychology for Marketers, sex is one of the most effective selling tools for a marketer. The article goes on to argue that this success is down to what is termed lizard brain. Apparently, this part of our brain, which is responsible for survival, is concerned with only three things, food, danger, and sex. Whether you agree with the theory of lizard brain or no, and I don't, you would surely agree that sex is one tool that is frequently exploited. As a youth, I know the culture and pressure that surrounded sex and identity. As a young lady, the pressure was further amplified still. If I refuse to yield to pressure, does that make me abnormal? What if I want to keep myself for my future husband? I can't say I made all the right choices. I wish I had which is why I want to have these conversations that I wish somebody had with me. Keeping yourself for your future husband or wife, though seemingly outdated, means that intimacy has its true value. Security is enjoyed within the, without the baggage of comparing your true love with others. These are benefits being enjoyed by some young people around the world who have opted to follow this path, so don't buy into the fact that everyone is doing it. Whereas the adverse effect of illicit sex is emotional and physical illness such as insecurity, depression, and sexually transmitted diseases. This is a warning that's not tagged onto the seductive popular media that we see. I say this because in our bid to be modern, society doesn't always set out the right signposts. So rather than going with the flow on this one, I say put self-preservation first. It's okay to wait. 100% as a physician, as a physician, this is one of the bread and butter of our of our work. STDs, STIs. Okay. The man comes and let, says, let I'm no, in pain no. and it's burning me. Hmm. I'm like, really? So what happened? You said, Well, I, I was not supposed to do what I did last night. You know, oh my, my wife doesn't know, please. You know, the truth is, even using barrier I'm using men. No, okay, I'm just saying even women. Mm -hmm. okay. it's, it's um, to be honest, every sexual encounter you have means you've slept with everybody 
that, that person has with. slept with. Mm -hmm. And there are lots of viruses that don't even have any name that you know of that you will get for life. And you will be transmitting this as you go along. And there are viruses that don't have cures, as we know. I mean, HIV is a popular one, but there's herpes. herpes. There's yeah. so many others, you know? Mm. And um, there's lifelong illnesses that you can't even begin to comprehend. Some people say it, Donald Trump has tertiary syphilis. But that's another, <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's another matter. I think it's <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If only she could be arrested. But, but I'm just saying, mm. like, there's something wrong with his brain, and that's a, that's a symptom <laughs> Oh, you're digressing. <laughs> <laughs> that's a symptom of long-term oh, sexual intransigence disease. <laughs> Sorry, let me just finish yes, this. Yes. The truth is, Apart from the security of um, your self-image and the self-worth, there's real danger in promiscuity. And keeping yourself, actually, I, I really overemphasize that. And really, user barrier methods is not that safe. There are lots of accidents with it, lots of accidents, including pregnancies or wanted pregnancies, and, and actually the disease, damage. and the emotional soul. So that doesn't prevent, oh, because I, I always wrap it up, doesn't make you safe. Mm. So abstain, abstinence until the right the person end. for you is probably it's probably Why? the best. It's five minutes. Thing. I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm passionate no, about I, this. I like Go what ahead. you said. Yeah. No, but, but but really, uh, uh, well. Uh, I agree, it is good to <laughs> wait. Young people are watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, really. Yeah. While I agree, it is good to wait, mm. but um, you also need to look at why are people not waiting? Mm. So that it doesn't just look as if, oh, you're saying people don't. It's, like I say, the budget for sex in Nigeria annually, even in the world, is triple the national budget. Okay. And, and so why are people not waiting? Yeah. To triple. Yeah, because people, <laughs> people, don't know how to, sex people don't know how to defer you said gratification. It. You said it. So many you people don't want to do... It says faster. Mm -hmm. It provides a lot. If this provides days, a lot what? Yes, I'm telling you. If you no, want I'm saying to, a lot In marketing, words. why do you think that you want to market a product now, you bring a, a almost half-naked lady? What has a drug got to do with a half-naked lady? No relationship. <laughs> but the world is selling sex. The world is selling sex. And Even that's why in some cases, can... like you have said, that, you know, they will tell you everybody's doing it. And in some cases... You're old-fashioned. You're old-fashioned. You know, so, but mm. we also need to remind people. Like somebody once told me, eh, why keep myself for a Tokumbo husband? <laughs> a man who would have finished using himself. And then, I'm, you know, so we need to also understand that it's not about the partner. It's not about you, it's mm. about what you believe in. You must not do everything that the world mm. is doing. Absolutely. Also, you also need to understand the man's psychology. Mm. If you do not understand the man's psychology, lizard that's far sex, mm. and as far as sex is concerned, like you said, the lizard brain. Mm. It's not all men that I, I, no, I find, no, this, I, I find men. this very, this topic men. is actually very interesting I'm not to saying me. all men. So when we understand all of that, why I'm saying all of this, when you understand why the mix, you would now know how to <laughs> pigeonhole your solution to mm. the problem. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's funny. Coming here today in the car, I was reading about, you know, um, a popular pastor, or whatever he wants to call himself. Not that I'm not... Yes. Yeah, but anyway, he said that, oh, this is the reason why people should abstain from sex before marriage. And, and he put up an article that said, every time a woman sleeps with a man, she stores the male mitochondrion. Now, I don't know how true this is, mm -hmm. but apparently it stays in the brain and attaches itself to... Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That's the size I don't, I don't think that is yeah. This is so, the well, but, but anyway, so, you these know... Are, these are this some of the reasons why yeah, we don't have yeah, 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 This was them trying to give a spiritual angle to it. Yeah, I, I totally, in this day and age, you know, this is a message that you do not hear at all. In fact, people just look at you and think you're absolutely crazy if you say, oh, I, I want to wait, especially if they know you did not wait before, suddenly you now want to start waiting. <laughs> They're like, what, you know, what, do you, what are you going to gain from all of that? Um, I think it's a message. If I had a girl child, I would love to give her that message because it's a message I wish she somebody... give your boy child the same message. No, I, I, I would. Okay. I would, the same abstinence. <laughs> I have two boys and a girl. And so, the same message I give Bola, to each of my children. you get that? The male psychology. Yes. <laughs> she the truth wants is, to give the female... No, no, I'm not giving them any... You know, the male. We have a society... No, the reason... You know, the The reason why... Yes, the reason I'm... No, no, I understand what you're saying, but let me land. Let me land. The reason... The reason I'm saying that is because yeah. we women, the pressure is on us. These men will be telling you, ah, come now, come and do. Come. So that's why this message is more for the girl. I, in the sense I, I, that I you tell her that she doesn't no, have to I, I do said this. Mm. Yeah. Like 
Yeah, yeah. She, 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 she has to preserve she herself. herself. So for Uche, it, the fact <laughs> remains that it a, is... a, a padlock that every key can open is not a good padlock. Yeah. But well, any, not secure. Every, a key that can open any lock is called a master key. So, so, okay. so okay. Some, <laughs> some, some of the restrictions <laughs> that, I've, that I've learned, that I've heard about from about. people, yeah. Were actually exercised by the male and not the female. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad to I hear. I had that. situation in which it was the male that was saying no. Nope, that wow, that's happened. a very good. But I had a situation in which a girl I knew walked away from a relationship because the man said no. Maybe maybe no fit perform. So the, maybe the she was worried is, that he has. Oh, no, that's, that's a, yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's a stereotype. Those, mm -hmm. those, 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 are, those are some of it's the. Just that, a man which is why I think we need to. But we put a lot of burden some, some on, the, on the female. expectation that we give yeah. to yeah. women, yeah. and not the boys that would date them. Yes, and, and that's. But that the truth is, the women brain and the woman emotion is very different yes, to a man. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, a normal woman, let me just say normal, whatever normal defines. <laughs> take sex very seriously. Exactly. And you need to have a lot of, you know, preparation for that. Most men can just do one bam, thank you, Thank you. This you is know? the reason why yeah. my yeah. focus is I, 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 I try not to generalize, because for every, <laughs> well, every, so, every so man that behaves like that, there's always another man who doesn't. I think yes. we all face those pressures, but um, it's okay to wait. <laughs> yes. Sometimes it's simply a matter of setting up signposts. We look forward to this segment where you set up signposts as concerns our advocacy. On University of Transportation, Repair Yard or School, Hawa Yakubu Wokoli says, Maritime University in Delta is actually a young functioning university. I have colleagues working there. Thanks for the feedback, Hawa. It's good to know the updated uh, version mm. of things on the ground. On politics is a game of thugs, John Taylor says, I have too many reasons to love this channel and program. <laughs> you guys are doing a great job. Awesome. Well, thank you, John. We love that kind of feedback. It, it really That's keeps really us awesome. fresh. On the same topic, comrade RSA Incorruptible says, <laughs> it's good to answer that name in Nigeria. <laughs> That's a very yeah, so own it. Not only thugs, but there are also cultists and ritualistically dishonest people. That's why good people are not good in politics, because they're not as wicked. Wow, thanks for that insight, Joe. Okay, keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms, on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to www.plustvafrica.com slash The Advocate. NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. After the break, Libras is like a dog with a bone as concerns the proposed hate speech bill. He just won't let go. Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. Yeah. The moment you are out there, Everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is oh, really disastrous for a president to, even say to be he's unaware. unaware of the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a very, terrible. Like a terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Just as one plus one equal two, so it could be surmised that hate action begets hate speech. No surprises there. Hate speech guilty as charged. Love those who hate you is a biblical injunction even some Pentecostal pastors in Nigeria will find difficult to keep. So don't blame politicians when they can't stomach a dose of the hatred they dish out to citizens daily. Otherwise, how do you describe the gun trotting, siren blaring, neck breaking speed of political office holders as they chase away other road users while rushing to govern mere mortars like you and I? It's only someone you hate very much that you chase off the road in such a manner. You can call it hate chase if you like. So before you charge me for hate speech, the Nigerian government should be aware that its action and inaction does not encourage peace, justice, and harmony, but breed hatred, anger, and disdain from those that should ordinarily love them. Like Fela sang, if I say $1 equal to 362 naira, it's old news. 
What if I say government charges 30% import duties on used vehicles and 70% on brand new ones, yet we are not producing or plan to start producing any of these vehicles? You will say it go bad before it good. I told you cement is at 2,515 naira, the highest in the world. How common man will take build house? Government will say we all can't own houses. Old story. Government has not even been able to fix electricity supply in 30 years, despite over 30 billion dollars budgetary provision. You will say now today, dilapidated school structures all over the several states in the country, including the federal government colleges. You will say we are used to it. Some state governors own as much as 30 months' salaries. Yes, we re-elect the governors. Yet the World Bank says it will get worse if these imminent reforms are not carried out by government. If only we know how other countries are growing in leaps and bounds, we will weep for Nigeria. If we have ideas of how other countries are developing policies that will make life better for their citizens, we will cover our faces in shame for our dear country. We celebrate mediocrity and applaud backwardness and cluelessness in this country. Does it surprise you that parents are sending their children to schools abroad, including government officials? What is the developmental blueprint for Nigeria? Sorry, strike that out. That's hate speech. Rather than engage in discourse that will endanger meaningful development for all, we celebrate media gagging and debate Jonathan and, and Buhari as if one is better than the other. Let it be known by government that it's hatred when you make campaign promises and fail to fulfill them. It's hatred when you promise to build a road before election, but after election you leave the road to dilapidate and it leads to the death of many. It's hatred when you create insecurity during and after election and spend government funds without accountability in the name of security votes. It's hatred when you send your children to school abroad, but use the children of the poor and vulnerable to snatch and stuff ballot buses during election. It's even more hatred when you refuse to pay workers' salaries while your allowances are entitlement are paid even before due date. What's more hatred than this when you empty state treasury to pay pension to a former governor and his deputy who serves the state for a maximum of eight years, even when he or she has retired to the Senate or is cooling off as a minister, while those that spent 35 years of their youthful years working for government are dying while waiting to collect pensions. It's hatred to allow ASU go on strike over non-funding of universities, while your children are in best schools in Europe and America enjoying best of facility. It's even more hatred when you buy luxury cars for yourself with taxpayers' money, even as you fail to provide good and affordable means of transportation to the people who voted you into office. Which hatred can be more than when you surround yourself with a mobile police barrack to guard you and your household, when, your kid when kidnappers and bandits, militants and robbers ride roughshod on the people you have sworn to protect. Hatred, they said, beget hatred. My advocacy today is if you provide good governance, fulfill campaign promises, encourage transparency and accountability in government, provide a level playing field, irrespective of tribe or tongue, and dispense justice equally and fairly, Nigeria will stand more in brotherhood and would have less hatred to deal with, and government would bother less about whose speech breed hatred. Wow. I have to give you this. Fantastic. Wow. I have to give wow. you this. I just wanted to jump in. My blood was boiling. <laughs> I boiling. wanted to lose my mind as you were talking. My body was just doing, look at what they're doing to us. Yeah. You know, I mean, I have, I feel tears, tearful about Nigeria and what the people are doing Actually to wrote us. Actually, wrote this in tears. It is absolute hatred. I wrote this hatred. script in tears. Oh, yeah. thank it's you really, for this. It's really ridiculous. Why, why? OK, so what is the solution? You're advocating for good governance. Yes. Because people make promises and they fail the promises. Who are these politicians? These are people who are really hungry. They're career politicians. Mm -hmm. They don't have a, a sustainable means of income. So they're going to government, making promises, get elected, only to fulfill their own needs. Yeah. They're really broke, really broadcast people, I'm just telling you. Mm -hmm. And so what we need to do, we have a job with our democracy. The people need to know that they have power. We need to stop election malpractice. I'm a victim. I actually contested House of Reps the last election, and I actually would have won my election, mm -hmm. but I'll leave that a long story. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, educated people, people that have an alternative means of income, need to come into governance. People who have actually experience in the private sector, mm -hmm. people who have real ideas, 
to, to bring. But, but when you're put up, when you go up against these thugs and these people that, you know, have no morals or no care in the world except to carry out the instructions of their masters, then how will somebody like you yeah, or so me, where your democracy alive is going house. to take some time? Mm. I mean, the democracy in, in America is 300 years old. Mm. And there's still problems with it. I mean, they haven't used to talk. I'm just saying, I'm not saying. I'm saying that they don't even have a perfect situation. Mm. The last election that Al Gore lost, well, hello, this last election that Hillary lost. Hello. No, she lost this fair and square. Let's go and get it. It was fair and square. We also don't We're not here to talk about Trump, because you know me, I'll argue for The truth is, Democracy is not perfect in any other world, even in Canada. What I'm saying is we must fight to make our democracy real for us. And we must encourage people who can keep their promises by their track record. Well, look, I mean, in by that sense, let me, let me take it from where you left off. I mean, I know liberals always want to say, let's, I like what you said in the sense that sometimes it, it makes it more real. Even when I, 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 I had to hear you say it for it to sink in even more than mm. when I saw it. So it actually, you need to almost like chronicle it for you to actually appreciate that the people who you've entrusted your, you say you've given your trust to govern, are actually treating you with a lot of, dis they're despising, Hatred. almost like they're Hate. despising you, really. Yeah. So again, Libras, I want to thank you for that advocacy because I, I think it's helpful when you chronicle it like that. So we really appreciate how bad things have gotten because sometimes you get used to it, like you say, you go better or you know, so it be, Not you know? Today. And you just keep, you know, you keep continuing to continue. But if you look at it like the way Uche was so moved, I'm sure others will be moved as well. Mm. We, you know, we were moved, even though we, we've seen these things. But I was going to just say, the, on the other side of it is, I feel that we, the people, we sometimes show a, a kind of hatred in, 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 in kind because we fail to engage with, with activism of some sort. We fail to rise up and let our voice be counted. I know, you know, um, the point that, okay, yes, we're being blocked, we're being gagged, whether on social media, the hate speech, these are things that are holding us back. But love will say, it doesn't matter. If you block me here, I'll push it. The Hong Kong, like Uche often says, the, the Hong Kong protests. See how long they've been going at the it. The yellow jackets. I mean, the yellow So the, the love will propel you. The people who have gone all the distance, it's love that is propelling them. They can't afford love to see the, the only country they have be decimated like this. And that's what is propelling us here. Because we keep saying, and, 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 and we can't just sit back and, and keep which quiet. Which for me, which for me, so, sorry quickly, hmm. which for me, I sat back and I look at somebody in government and you're talking about hate speech. Mm. Imagine that. You're talking, you head yourself out you? to run for an office mm. and there you say I criticize you. Mm. It's hatred, mm. it's hate speech. What hatred can be more than one I what? go through daily mm -hmm. in your hands? Yes. Thank you. Must be held accountable. What's, up? So, so, What's yeah, happening? I, I, for, for, for me, I, I think because a lot of time people think the problem is rooted in politics or the political biases. But I see two parties in Nigeria all the time. The elite and political class versus the rest of yes, us. Yes, absolutely. Those are the two parties. That's what it is. And that is why you find out that I can be APC today and uh, Nazi mm. tomorrow, wherever, it, it doesn't matter. matter. What they are shooting for is what they are shooting for. Which is to hold on to power. It's tough to say people need to participate more, uh, but mm. at the same time, I think we must go in that direction. Mm. In the last election, for example, you have situations in which a million, more than a million people registered in a state, less than 300,000 came out to vote. What were the 700,000 doing? Sometimes those figures are over blue. Yeah. No, but they, you, you they, still they, know they, that people didn't they engage. Know we like, still know. They, they, they just feel they can't make a difference. Because yeah, yeah, no, they they know, know, Wait, there people this is a different topic. Don't count. Don't count. Wait, this is a different That's topic altogether. Like, it's not necessarily a different topic. No, you know why? Do you know why? Go take census of all the elections in Nigeria. All from 1999 to date. Take the average of the voting age. That's when you know our repopulation. In even the election where they say there's a massive turnout, from what you have at the, as the number of registered voters, it's usually not up to 50% yeah. of that voter. Do you know why? During registration, when oh, Jagger yes. came on board, <laughs> that's why I say it's a different topic. Yeah. When Jagger came on board, he said, look, I need to clean up the register. When they cleaned it up, some figures reduced, some governors were complaining. Mm. How can you say I have only 2 million voters in my state? Mm. You know, it needs to increase. Yeah. So some of this population, they use it false to also data. Data. But so as we go biometric, that becomes irrelevant. Not, not to mention yeah. It becomes irrelevant. Yes. Because we, we need to go biometric. Can I just say, 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 can I just say,
your ID card, even you don't have to have a voter's card. So there's all these um, fun funkified machines and all that. You bring your ID, your valid ID, you go, there's a, your name on the register, the ticket, you go and it's a tick on the box. But that's mm. where you have people who don't that's, have, it's not life or death for them. They're not, but they're I'm not telling you, it was a very, very important election. No, it was a very important election. election. It was the Prime was Minister a, of Canada. Yeah, what am I saying is, until we have a proper a verification system where your ID is actually a true ID. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be a it doesn't have to be a voter's card. We don't I, I, have to spend so much billions creating, creating a, a new voter's card. ID. But I'm for electronic. You know why? But you know why? It's still electronic because the electronic yeah, means I've already captured to. you. Yeah. Mm. The sensors knows how many people in my household. Mm. And if I forgot my personal no, mind, you know, let me, sorry. at that point then sorry, you can uh, even be rookie, verified again. The reason why I'm still saying electronics is I want you to be able to vote from your phone. The way they do for Big Brother Niger. You can even like, if you come out there and the security issue ballot. starts again, you'll you be can hindered. post in your ballot. Yeah, you, you need to find a, a way if you I can didn't, do it if I know that I'm without shift, I'm endangering yourself. And I can't go throughout mm -hmm. election day because I'm on 18 hour shift. I can post in my yeah, ballot. You need to There's a to deadline that. for that. Mm -hmm. But do you know, do you know why that is feasible? You have to use your phone. You have to use your phone. Why it is feasible? Well, every vote must count. We have to make sure. It might arrive the following day. No, it's electronic. Why it still happen in the United States? Why it is feasible? Because the data is there, yeah. and then there are sanctions. Yeah. Yes. There are sanctions. But here, it's everything goes. Mm. And so we, once you're a political office holder, you're an emperor. Mm. You can do no wrong. Oh, my. If they realize mm. that if you snatch the ballot box, everything cuts. That means that all those votes will and be destroyed. nullified. Yeah, yeah, nullified. You won't do right. that. No, no, but you will. We will still do it. it. If, if you I want know, it, I will go to your area and smash ballot it. box. Yeah, so that 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 all the votes. <laughs> so that all the, once we <laughs> know true. that your area is predominantly yeah. for one party, yeah. you can't snatch that ballot so that that box. So that's what they're doing now. For the state. Yes, now. Yeah. There'll be no results for that state. Yes, no, like, no, like, no, like, no, like, no, so that nobody state. will get the vote. Yes, like take a place like River State. I'm yes, sure that's well, what they would have wanted. Um well. It's a hot topic. Seriously, seriously. Uh, time flies when um, you're debating a hot topic like this. We'll continue to speak because we hope to communicate the truth in love. After the break, Bolan goes spiritual on us. I wonder if we need any special preparation to receive this advocacy, maybe like praise and worship. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, Everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a terrible, terrible. Like fire. <laughs> terrible strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. If we don't catch them within the natural order, then perhaps it is time to pursue them to the spiritual realm. Impunity in the spirit world I did not believe in ghosts, but with the Nigerian ghost workers phenomenon, my own belief has been shaken. So who is a ghost worker? Someone who appears on a company's payroll, but who doesn't actually work for the company? Quoting the former finance minister, Mrs. Sewela, by 2015, implementation of the IPPIS had led to the elimination of about 65,000 ghost workers thus saving the government about 1.1 billion US dollars in fraudulent payroll costs. Since 2015, there have also been several numbers rolled out about more ghost workers that were eliminated and the ghost salaries that were saved. However, there are unanswered questions that smell like impunity. Let us say that last month, there were 10 names on an MDA's payroll. And upon adoption of IPPIs this month, we found out that three of the ten are ghosts. So who collected the salaries of the three ghosts for last month? If it was paid in cash, somebody showed up, collected the money, and signed. If it was paid to the bank account, it means we have full information, including the picture, signature, BVN, biometrics of this ghost. Who are these ghosts? And why have we never shown interest in naming and shaming them? 
recovering the good salaries that have been collected in the past, and making them face the law for defrauding all of us. Someone said, maybe because they are ghosts. <laughs> I hereby advocate that the anti-corruption war be extended to the spirit world, where Nigerian ghost workers seem to reign in absolute impunity. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I can't. I, I really can't take this. Fantastic. Because how can ghosts actually have a payroll? I yeah. uh, actually have a bank account. How do they collect the money? Yes. Who enrolled those ghosts in the payroll? They do the have. system they is do corrupt. Yes. Very. It's within the system. Absolutely. And so until, it a footprint. Until so we call following. them out, mm -hmm. like you said, they must refund the money. Mm. If they can't, they should go to jail, mm -hmm. confiscate their assets. There must be real consequences because that same money can go in developing that community. Mm -hmm. I and completely people agree are with just you. Taking money that dead people are, are appearing on. on oh the, but what about um, even real ghosts that are when our uh, really. government was newly appointed? They appointed. Ghosts, oh, uh, please. board members. Yeah, yes. now, yeah, now, yeah, now, board members. Now, yeah, now, yeah, now, yeah, now, yeah, now, yeah, now, yeah, that level, you have to then understand that there's something sinister the going system. on. Because, you know, you can't tell me you're about to appoint somebody to an important position. <laughs> you have not seen no them. You have not heard them. No verification, no <coughs> confirmation, no nothing. You submitted no a resume. Yeah, yeah but, but, but for, really, um, you have um, a lot of. Um, workers who are ghosts or ghost workers as they call it mm -hmm. because government is the only thriving business in Nigeria. It's the biggest business. Um, I was in Abuja recently and um, I had cause to discuss with a director in one of the ministry and he said look do you know that you know government go, the federal government has about um, 1.2 million workers and of this 1.2 million only about less than a hundred thousand actually civil servants. Hmm. The rest are ministries, parastatas and MDAs, and then political appointees, mm. many. And so, when you have this um, kind of government where everybody feels is our turn to chop. Hmm. And turn. so, you have opportunity, you put all your children who are not working. They don't even know that their names are on payroll. Look at Mena. May not operate your accounts, <laughs> accounts in his brother's name. <laughs> they didn't even know they owned those accounts. Patient Jonathan operated account in House Help's name. Oh, help us. And those ones they didn't know. All of these are ghost accounts. But can, may I you come know, in? So quickly, mm. let me round up. Mm, please round up. <coughs> Excuse me. So, why this is like that? Because everybody believes government is opportunity to eat. That's, That's why people cake. will kill to be in government. Mm. And so when it's you get money. there, there are no sanctions. The solution to all of this mm. is we need to find people who truly have a passion for service and Come not on. those who are pretending to serve. And the yes. only way we can get those people is we need election to... Process to be yes. Electoral so, process to be transferred. To be transferred. Oh, and that's why we are talking to educate the yeah. people let me, so that they'll be charged. Let me, let me oh, bring in the point. You, as let me, as uh, Rookie said. <laughs> okay, let me bring in this because point. Because you can't trace these ghost workers. Yeah. You can't tell me you can't trace Absolutely. them. Just like you've now listed who ran what accounts. Yes. You, just you, you, normal citizen. Hannah, uh, we know this. Why are we not doing anything about it? <laughs> okay, let me just bring well, this point. Uh, let me bring this point in, actually. Yes. Because it, I was listening to the, the discussion recently and they were talking about fake professors in ASU. Yes. And for me, it all boils down to the same thing. Fake we don't have a very men. strong yeah. verification Processes. culture. It's like people are happy to overlook a lot of things. They, you know, someone said to me that, it, wait, 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 wait. We can't work together wait, in now. I don't wait, know. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait. I need to verify wait, you. Now, wait. That's even wait, simple now. about now. Wait, now. Let, me, let me make this point. <laughs> yeah. deliberate. Let, let me come, on. let me come. Yeah, so it's almost like we, if some people, someone even said that we like to allow these loopholes. We don't like rigid systems. You know, oh, you're doing too much like a Yubo person. Because if you now block off and make sure people verify things, it cuts off even the oxygen for them to steal in ghost work. And so for me, the, the fake professors are a similar kind of phenomenon, yeah. albeit that they're not in government. We need to strengthen, when we see systems, people shouldn't feel defensive towards systems. They're actually there to protect, they mm -hmm. kind of default. They, they don't fake, um, what do you call it? Systems don't see your face. They don't, they don't have any yeah. Yeah. So that's why I like systems. Yeah, because if, if whether you're on this side or that side, it will catch you out. Mm -hmm. But we don't like it in Nigeria. I think we need to imbibe that culture so it goes all the way to the top. Because you, otherwise, it goes to the One thing that really makes up. me crazy. Sorry, sorry, is this, sorry. sorry, I just have to land this one. Yes, is this entering into the airport? We're still giving tickets 
and sometimes you don't get a ticket means someone is taking that money. You, you, Every country... I always ask for tickets. Every country yeah. doesn't make sense. Even yeah. in Ghana, so it's, 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 a, it's automated. Yes. Why you, are we still doing that? Yeah. Someone have, has to chop money. You say you are fake. You say you discover seven fake professors. Yes. Like Bolahan said, mm. they have colleagues. They work together. Yes. Somebody they had a cold room together. So they collect some. Ah, cold they room. Sit down. That was my Exactly. Memory. You sit down in the offices, you lecture together. Mm. And there is a verification system in the department. How come you have fake? And you just weed out the person and, and nobody is no sanctioned. Nothing. Nobody is. Nothing. So the man that has been paying them salaries uh -huh. is not sanctioned. Mm -hmm. The man who employed them is not sanctioned. Mm -hmm. And because they're, they're all, all in, in on it. The they're money. all in yeah. on it. That's why everybody is collecting their little. That is it. In no order to keep the no ghost more. worker in play. Yeah. That's it. It's That's really the only way a ghost worker can be. It's a system of impunity. And when you talk, they say. Uh, is it your money? Is it your mm. money? Mm. Government, government money, money is actually your it's money. It's my money. It's your exactly. money more than anything. And if citizens will pay their taxes properly in this country, they'll be more concerned what happens in the public se mm. sector. Mm. There's a lot of people that don't pay taxes. And this is very important. In Canada, no, I can talk I can and why people do not pay about taxes. I'm not trying to encourage No, them. no, I'm just saying mm. that... Go to other tax. countries. I do pay taxes. No, it's good to I, pay. I do pay to taxes. Mm. To Listen pay. to me. In Sweden, the government controls everything. Mm. They're happy for Practically the government to make everything. all their decisions. And, the and they take sometimes 60% of their income. Correct. They're happy for that. Yeah, because, because they, they can see what they're doing with that. that is it. Is and everything is equal. There's no gates, there's no fences, there's no crime. I'm telling you that people will be happy to pay taxes when they see. So, no, but by the time they start. But why would they still like this? That's when you know that they're not going to a ghost. So, the truth is, why would they not pay taxes? There's no accountability for what they're doing. But why would you want to pay tax when the money goes to a ghost? We truly really need <laughs> praise and worship before this. Uh, we, need, we need to fish out all those okay, goals, but most importantly, <laughs> it comes down to us. Everything is not government. Mm. Individuals must, must I'm sure take you see these ghost, ghost scenarios yes. all around us every day, okay. actually. At times, we seem to be in jest when we are truly in earnest. However, believe me when I say that we have come to the end of this stimulating edition. However, continue to keep your fingers on the pulse of things. Keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to www.plustvafrica.com slash The Advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time. Let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment impressed. you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now. And when they're there, they're not even really making a mark. And then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a very terrible. Backfire. A terrible <laughs> strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly, Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news.